Truly message mga kaigsunan ng atong nadungog ni Agabion. It's time to awake out of sleep. Panahon na igsuon ko, hallelujah, tungod kay mao ni ang atong buluhaton, ang pagsangya o pagwali sa mga balita ng ato sa tanang mga katawahan. So may paglangan mga kaigsunan, praise the Lord, hallelujah, akong ihatan ng higayon sa atong National Law World Mission Director, alam sa pag-introduce sa ato ang speaker. Praise the Lord, thank you. Praise the Lord tayong lahat ay tumayo, mga kapatid. Bago ko po tatawagin ang ating speaker, pwede po bang umay umakyat dito sa taas ang ilan sa ating mga officials, national officials kung andiyan, si Pastor Nomer Trinidad, Pastor uh, Oscar Picar, Pastor Roland Rosary, Pastor Rio Bandoy, pwede po kayong umakyat dito. Ma. Sino sa inyo ang gusto ng revival, mga kapatid? Uulitin ko, sinabi ni Anthony Mangon, I cannot survive without revival. Hindi tayo pwede mga kapatid na ganito na lang. Kailangan magkaroon tayo ng revival, di ba? Sabi po ni Arthur Wallace, isang uh, Pentecostal writer mga kapatid, The latter rain is seven times greater than the former rain. So we believe na ang former rain ay sa araw ng Pentecost at yung latter rain, mga kapatid, mula noong 1901 hanggang ngayon. Yan po ang outpour ng Holy Ghost na millions, mga kapatid, ang nakakatanggap ng Holy Ghost. At sa gabing ito, kanina pa, mga kapatid, nag-aantay ang Panginoon sa iyo, sa iyong pagpupuri. Sa iyong pagsamba, sa iyong pag-response at sa pangangaral ng Ebanghelyo, gagalaw at kikilos ang Panginoon. Our speaker, mga kapatid, needs no introduction. Kilala niyo na po siya, mga kapatid. Dahil uh, siya ay naging guro ng Bible School sa Acts, siya ay naging senior pastor, mga kapatid, sa park, siya ay naging uh, district uh, Uh, presbyter namin at naging uh, regional at uh, hanggang ngayon mga kapatid siya po ang ating uh, bali general superintendent at siya rin po ang aking uh, predecessor mga kapatid he was my uh, he was my uh, world mission director before at ako ang napalit sa kanya and it is my pleasure highest pleasure to bring to you our speaker tonight none other than Reverend Bishop Cesar Pistanio. Bigyan natin ng palakpak ang ating Panginoon. Clap your hands to Jesus and shout out to God with a voice of praise. Come on, let's do it for the Lord. Shout for your blessing tonight. Come on, hallelujah. Whoa. King of Kings. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Jimmy Solit, our good National World Missions Director, and to all the members of the World Missions Committee. Oh, dalaygo ng Dios nining kagabion mga ikson. Kao ba nato ang Diyos din yung manindot ng lugar? Bo sa ayaw pugong-pugong sa pagdaig. <laughs> Luag kayo ni nga lugar? Air condition ta mga eksoon? Bo sa patamata nato ang Diyos! Ingon sa atong district presbyter, Pastor Jerry Marimon, our host district, libre ni siya. Nya kay libre man kita Pilipino malipay mingyo tag libre. Mao nang samtang libre ni lipayo nato ang Ginoo sab. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Sa ating uh, Region 1 Assistant Superintendent Pastor Eugene all the way from Baguio City and his wife, my classmate in the Bible school, Sister Jima. And our Vice President, 
At the same time, our Region 3 Assistant Superintendent, Pastor Mario Pistanio. Amen. Praise the Lord. At ang ating Bishop, ako siyang Giputana kanina. Pila na lang mo, Pastor, sa imong bats ang nahabilin. Kasi yung siya maigsoon, duha mi ni Pastor Gabita. Pero din sa Mindanao, siya na lang. Pastor Alcantara, Pastor Romy, na pa maigsoon. Ang punato siya sa iyang kahimtang usap. And we are happy and so glad to see Pastor Dangkulo still preaching, can still run. Lupigon, lupigon pataanig dagandagan mga egson. O 83 years old na siya. The reason why I ask him to join with us in the platform for this whole summit because he's a model to everyone. It's not about our education. It's not about eloquency. It's all about our devotion and commitment to the calling of God. Clap your hands to Jesus. Pastor Jerry Marimon and to all the members of our executive board. Nandiyan sila sa, sa, sa floor mga egsoon. Praise God. And we want them to be in the platform tomorrow night. We want, we want our leaders to be seated here for you to see them also na di asila diri mga egsoon sa atong summit. And I have a request to all the pastors and delegates to please stay until the last day. And the last day is Thursday, half day. Dahil meron tayong presentation sa ating national goal, meron tayong mga open forums, meron tayong mga discussion, and we want every pastors to go home with a complete information. And uh, as the superintendent, I am duty-bound to implement our bylaws. So we're sending memos and everything because that has been in the bylaws. And we just want to be cleared. We are here because of the grace and mercy of the Lord. And we want to be a good preacher for the glory of God. I have six of messages for tonight. But I will encourage every pastors, lalo sa Tagum area, close neighboring churches, to bring your people for the Holy Ghost outpouring preaching service tomorrow night and then for the Sunday or oh no, the last day it's all about the church but we want and we want everyone to understand we need even pastors we have the Holy Spirit but we need to continue to dwell in the presence of God without the Holy Spirit we might lose our direction because First and foremost, we, love, we need the anointing from the Lord. And everybody say, Amen. Malakas na palakpak muli para sa ating dakilang Diyos. Hallelujah! Come on, shout to the Lord! And let's praise Him, hallelujah! Let's rejoice in the Lord, hallelujah! Amen. Ako ang ipungutan si Pastor Jerry. Kaya doon na nakita din yung aside. Na doon na sila dalang uh, baby mga egsoon. Ingo si Pastor Jerry from Talaingod. Malayo, no? Pero dito sila mga egsoon. I think they will stay for until Thursday. Nagsakripisyo, dala ang baby. That's an old-fashioned revival. Amen. We need to be awakened. It doesn't matter. Layo sila, may dalang baby, but they want to experience the power of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Kaya kamong wala gigunitan, wala mo gikogos, clap your hands to the Lord. Come on, let's do it for Jesus. We are free today. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. We love you and we praise you and we worship you, God. Come on, you can do it for Jesus. 
Let the Holy Spirit move in our shouts. In the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. Oh, I love to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The reason I live is to worship Him. The reason we live is to praise Him. In case you forget that part, we live to worship Him. And we come to worship Him. And we come to exalt His name. And everybody say Amen. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, a very familiar, common, and powerful verse. Reading from the American Standard Version. It says, but ye shall receive power when the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be my witnesses. Both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Amen. We will pray tonight. At meron pong uh, special request. Pastor Oscar Pistanyo. Kita may ganiyang buntag may suon from Surigao. Kayang anak nga si Karin ay scheduled for operation sa kanyang pancreas to remove the pancreas. So, pag gawas na ako sa kinay siya, please pray for Karen during the summit. I said, yes, I will do it. Because I still believe God is still a miracle worker. There's nothing impossible with God to them that believe. Will you please raise your hands as we pray tonight? In the Holy Ghost and in the power of the name of Jesus, as we release the signs and wonders and miracles, we pray specifically, Lord, for Sister Karen Pistanio for a successful operation, God, to remove that pancreas from her body, O oh God Almighty. You will guide the surgeon, you will bless them, O oh God, financially also. Hallelujah. And we still have days to come to that actual day sa operasyon. We still believe, Panginoon, pwede ikaw ang muhimo sa operasyon karong tabi. Ikaw ang gamhanan ng Diyos. Dili ang doktor ginoo, apan ikaw ang makagagahom karon. Busa nag-ampo mi sa dakong milagro alang at kaniya. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and from the message, your words to be delivered by your servant. I pray for the freedom of God. I pray for the liberty, Lord. Release the power of God tonight. Bless every pastor. Bless every pastor's children. Bless every guest, brothers and sisters, and the leadership of this fellowship, Lord. And to God be all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout amen. God bless at makakaupo na po kayo mga batid. Preaching tonight on the subject from the verse that says, Ye shall be my witnesses. Kamo ang mahimong mga saksi. Acts or the book of Acts has it all. Supernatural inter outstanding miracles, powerful preaching, breathtaking scapes, harrowing journeys, life and death decisions, courtroom dramas, thrilling rescues, action, mystery, and adventure. Acts will grab your attention. Trigger your imagination and tug at your emotions. Thank God for the book 
of Acts. Tanan nga gitudlo sa atong Ginoo three years and a half sa mga apostolis o sa mga disipulo. Wala to'y kapuslanan kung wala ang libro sa mga buhat. Kaysa diyang gitudloan sila sa Diyos, doon ay mahitabo nga to kanila. Salamat nga doon ay mga buhat sa mga apostolis nga hangtod karon mga itson, maoy atong ginasundan, maoy atong ginakuhan sa mga minsahe. And I am grateful to announce today or tonight we are the extension of the Book of Acts. Hallelujah! Ang sabi mga kapatid, supernatural intervention. And to me personally, gusto nating makita hindi lang natural na pagkilos sa loob ng simbahan. Hindi lang natural na pagkilos sa buong UPC Philippines. And now we are approved to do globally for the preaching of the words of God. Kaya kayong mga nakaupo rito na may tawag sa Diyos sa ibang bansa, ihanda na ninyo ang inyong mga sarili. Dahil nung nakaraang Philippine Summit, kasama ng ating mga elders, in na tayo na pwede na tayong pumunta sa ibang mga bansa at ipangaral ang salita ng ating Panginoon na kailangan na natin mga Pilipino missionaries, kailangan natin ang mga young people, kailangan natin ang may mga tawag na pwedeng mangharal sa iba't ibang mga bansa. Kaya sa pangalan ng ating Panginoong Sokristo, ang mga Pilipino ay merong malaking gampanin! Shout Amen! Oh, hallelujah! Outstanding! We want, especially to every pastor present in this summit, don't just be satisfied of having members in the church. Amen. Collecting tithes and offerings, joining the departmental activities without witnessing the power of God. Come on, in these last days, we want to see miracles in the churches. We want to see power in the Holy Ghost. We want God to move in our churches. If you believe it, shout amen. Clap your hands to Jesus. As you read the Holy Spirit, the gifts, The persecution and power. Paul's dramatic conversion and the rapid spread of the gospel beyond Jerusalem and Judea to the ends of the earth. Ask God to transform you into the kind of person He can use you to change your world. Apostolic Tongue talking, baptized in Jesus' name, living a holy life, we can change the world. Come on, hallelujah. We are called world changers. Nagkalain-lain na ang dagway sa kalibutan. Gisgutan ni Pastor Dangkulos kaniya, apila katuig sa maigson, na nga usap na ang dagway sa naong sa mga tao, na nga usap na ang kinayahan sa tao, hapan salamat sa grasya sa gino. Sukat ka ni Anto, Pastor Jerry, hangtod ka ron, maugihapon ang atong kahimtang diha sa tubangan sa gino. And we cannot afford to lose this identity. Come on, Apostolics! Come on, United Pentecostal Church! Don't give up! Don't surrender! Don't lose holiness! Oh, thank you, Jesus. As you read, Acts, Recommit to unity in the church. And I praise the Lord. Amen. With the members of our city board. 
I told some of our city board members, Pastor Mario is the most senior member of the city board. And during our meetings for two days, supposed to be three days, but we were, we were able to finish it ahead of time. And I can feel the unity amongst the leadership. Come on, we are hitting for a big revival. I am feeling for a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I can see the hand of God moving to the church. We are united in our program. We are united in our plans and purpose. Come on, pastors. It's time for the United Pentecostal Church. Come on, hallelujah. We are excited as your leaders. We are happy to see the churches moving forward. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm excited. I want to see the book of Acts in the Philippines. I want to see book of Acts in your churches. Be careful of your blessing. Sa prayer ni Pastor Dangkolos, giisgutan niya. During prayer time, giisgutan niya may exon, the prayer and fasting. I think we cannot drop and put aside prayer and fasting away. We need to keep on holding on to that weapon. The twin weapon. Our prayer and our fasting. Amen. Hallelujah. We are blessed beyond measure. We are blessed mga kapatid, mga ikson. Ang mga simbak naglisod na asa ipamarking ang mga sakyanan. Pero dili pa na may atong ipangita. Don't stop praying. Don't stop claiming. I want signs and wonders in my church. Come on, pastors. Shout yes. We need to be awakened. And I am a preacher and a pastor that will preach hard. Why? I told the church, church, I will be preaching hard and more harder. Why? Because the Bible tells me in the last days, lalong titigas ang ulo ng mga tao. Kaya kung pangaralan lang kayo pamasahe-masahe, hindi tatalab yan sa ating isipan. Pero kung marinig natin, dinidigdig tayo. Dinig natin na para tayong nilalatigo. Come on! Hallelujah! I am here to tell this. Whether there is tithes and offerings or not, preach the word of God. Come on! Hallelujah! Don't give favor to someone and then forget the other one. Preach the word. Why? You and me are witnesses. And we want to witness the power of God. Mabitang himuuntang mga saksi sa ginoo para makita nato ang gahom sa Diyos. Dita may mong saksi sa ginoo Kung walay gahom nga makita. And we are pushing. Man. And putting hard. In these last days, nabanggit ng ating director, seven times greater the latter rain revival. And we can feel the wind of revival. Amen. We can feel it, Pastor Eugene. We can feel it, Pastor Mario. We can feel it, Pastor Dancolos. We can feel it, Pastor Jerry. We can feel it, Pastor Dimi. We can feel it, Pastors. Revival is in the air. Dahil bago babagsak ang malakas na ulan, meron munang maitim na ulap. Can you see the clouds of revival? Can you feel it? Can you see it? Come 
on, clap your hands and say, I believe it. I'm going to see it. I'm going to witness it. Come on, preachers. I want pastors, preachers to stand up. If you believe it, pastors, stand up. Stand to your feet and say, I believe it. Shout, thank you, Jesus. Please be seated. Sabi ng isang preacher, sabi niya mga kapatid, the way to receive the message is you need to stand up and praise the Lord. Mga nang sa church, mas marami ang tayo kaysa opo. Why? Because the people need to receive the word. And the best thing to show your approval to the word of God is to stand up and clap your hands and shout, Thank you, Jesus! The book of Acts! We will stick on this. Tomorrow, for everybody, I will preach about Holy Spirit and you. Because the question is, Kumusta ang Holy Spirit na nasa iyo? <laughs> Come on. We preach Holy Spirit, but Kumusta siya? We can put signboard Holy Ghost Revival, but how about in your life? Do you still have revival? Yeah, I got revival because I got a good cheer. I got nice car, nice house. No. No, baptism in water and Holy Spirit, you can enter into the kingdom of God. That's why I encourage pastors, bring your people tomorrow night. Invite someone tomorrow night. It's like a crusade because we want everybody, including me, to understand where am I now in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Come on, shout hallelujah. Let's rejoice in the Lord. And we will reserve that for tomorrow. That is the history of how the Christian church was founded and organized. As well as how the early church Solve their problems. I remember, and I still remember, Pastor Dan Colos. I think mayroong mga uh, uh, mga naghanap sa simbahan. Kasi ang prayers nila, Pastor, Panginoon, ituro niyo ang simbahan sa amin. Parang sa may duhali at ayon sila. Kapreach din ako sa lugar na yan bago nag-Bible school. At nung nag-pray yung family, ang pinakita doon sa kailang panaginip, United Pentecostal Church, Salvation Panaboh, pinakita ang simbahan. We need to continue praying for that. We need to believe the signs and wonders Come on, hallelujah. Ang uban sa ato nag-develop how to become a good preacher. How to become an eloquent speaker. How to deliver with all the actions and everything, the steps and everything. Wala na gipangita sa gino. Ang gipangita sa Diyos, ang demonstration sa iya hanggang Come on, hallelujah. Pastors, if you want to be a good preacher, be a good worshiper. Do you hear me? Natong summit, last summit, minister summit, 
I think the last night, gikan sa tunga mga igsoon from the center sa gitna, nakita ko si Pastor ng Kolos na tumakbo mula doon at nagtakbo-takbo doon sa harapan. Amen! 83 years old, takbo ng takbo, lundag ng lundag. Pero meron tayong 20 years old, 30 years old, anong ginagawa? Nakagano na lang. You want to be a powerful preacher? Look at this man of God. Come on! Akala nyo, madaya nyo yung Diyos sa galing ng pananalita. No! It's your worship to God! Because when you worship the Lord, you submit to God! You want to be a dynamic, dynamic preacher? Be a worshiper! Dalang book of Acts, I hit the observer. Sila ay mga worshipers! Come on, I worship the Lord! We will open this summit with a voice of praise, with a voice of worship, with a voice of thanksgiving. Worshippers, live long. Listen, worshippers, live long and longer. Why? Why? Because the father, Pastor Banyes, is looking for a worshiper that can worship him in spirit and in truth. Kaya kaysa at paborito ng Diyos ang mga worshiper. And because I'm happy with you, I will prolong your days. Come on, listen to me. I will prolong your life. That's why David said, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Come on, preachers. Come on, pastors. Evangelists. Come on, be a good worshiper. If Pastor Dancolos can run, I can also run. I can also dance. I can also jump. Why? I live to praise him. your church in worship. Anong sabi ni Job? Do you slay me? I will praise thee. Sinabi na nang ni Job, kahit patayin mo pa ako, Panginoon, purihin pa rin kita. Hindi pinahaba yung buhay ni Job. Pero yung mga reklamador, pupunta sa conference na kaganito lang, I'm sorry, the Lord will just pass by you. Why? Because the Father is seeking such a worshiper. Come on, be a worshiper. Come on, be a worshiper. Come on. The Father is seeking such a worshiper that can worship Him in spirit and in truth. Mona, Mona, my son. Come on, Pastor. Mona, ang miembro. Usay di mo to sa to. Kaya pagabot sa simbahan, manguga tagwali, daig mo sa gino. Pagabot sa conference sa manini, si Pastor o man lagi magdaig, ana ana raman. Come on. This is the voice of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to receive the voice of God. We need to accept the word of God. We are not perfect, but we are trying to be perfect in the presence of God. I told the pastors, I told the churches, I traveled all over the Philippines, and I told the Bible school students last week, Sa'im spiritual renewal. 
I don't want to be remembered to be a good preacher. No. I don't want to be remembered a good pastor. No. I don't want to be remembered a good leader. No. I want to be remembered as a worshiper. Why? People, the leadership might be impressed of your preaching. But God's still looking for a worshiper. Come on, study hard for your preaching. Pray and fast, but don't devote to that. If give your time for worship. Give your time for praise. Give your best for the glory of God. Come on, pastors. Come on, keep on running, keep on jumping. Let's do it for the Lord. We are blessed. You are about to receive your blessing. You are about to receive your miracle. You are about to receive the release. This is the book of Acts. I read from the book of Acts. Kaya si Pablo at saka si Silas nung nakulong, hindi na nangaral. Nagpuri na lang. Pero nagpuro sila. Bumaba ang Panginoon. Inuga yung bilangguan. Nung umupiroga ng bilangguan, Pastor Rick Villamor, nandoon na mga prisoners. Saka pa sila nangaral. Maganda magpuri muna bago mangaral. Raise your hands and shout to the Lord. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. And the place was shaken. And the power of God moves. Oh, napakasara pakinggan na may mga lingkod ng Diyos, na may mga alipin ng Diyos, na may mga anak ng pastor, na may mga kabatiran na bukas ang puso para sa bahay ng Panginoon. This is what we need. Hindi mo punta tayo sa mga revival na nagkukwintuan lang. Uwi tayo na busog palagi. Uwi tayo na puno sa Espiritu ng Panginoon. Uwi tayo na merong refreshing. The church. The church. Everybody say the church. Did not start. Or grow by its own power and enthusiasm. The disciples were empowered by God's Holy Spirit. That's why we need that problem conscious. That's why we need the Holy Spirit in these last days. We will work on that tomorrow night by God's will. Allow God to fill you with His Spirit. Then follow the Spirit's leading as you live and minister in this world. Jesus had told His disciples to take this gospel to, the, to all the world. You know, ang theme ng last Philippine summit, two days Lahat ng member na issue to board, kasama si Pastor Jimmy Sulit, at kasama yung mga foreign guests. Alam niyo anong nakalagay sa team? Preaching the world through the Filipinos. And in, at the back of my mind, why Filipinos? 
Can you imagine? Bakit reaching the world through the Australian? They have money. They can speak good English. Why not reaching the world through the Americans? What is in you, Filipino? Come on, young professionals. What is in you tonight? Why the UPCI, our mother church, using the theme, reaching the world through the Filipinos? Come on, Filipinos. Raise your hands to Jesus and say, God, thank you for making me a Filipino. I will respond to the challenge. I will give my best. I will give my life. I will give my heart for the gospel's sake. In the name of Jesus, I feel the Holy Spirit. I feel the anointing in the Holy Ghost. Come on, just open your heart. Jesus. Come on. The Holy Spirit brings movement, excitement, and growth. He gives believers the motivation, energy, and ability to spread the gospel. And Jesus wants men and women, everything to hear his wonderful, life-changing message. Healings, miracles, signs, and wonders. I am ready to close the message now. Apostle Paul in particular took every opportunity to tell others about Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. Paul told how God had changed his life. Whether in a synagogue, lecture hall, on a river bank, or in prison, in the public square, on Marsh Hill, or in front of a mob, or in front of rulers, with total boldness, he preached the word of God. Hallelujah. During that indoor crusade sa church, merong babae, mga kapatid, na operasya na si Sarian. Nagtaka siya after nailabas yung baby. pag niya, lumaki yung kanyang tiyan. Lumaki. Pumunta sa church, on that Sunday crusade, paglapit sa altar, pinagpray, go ahead, you can cry and shout. Nobody will stop you when you cry in the spirit for the Lord. Because that is what to push, supposed to be the church. There is the release of freedom. Ano man ang iyong nararamdan, feel free to do it. Hindi tayo limitado dito mga kapatid. Hindi tayo napipigilan kahit ang preacher. If the Spirit of God moves in your soul. Come on! In your soul! So I asked. During altar calling or after service, after the preaching. I asked the woman to please come up to the platform. And I asked her, what happened? Sabi niya, Pastor, naoperahan po ako. Pag-uwi ko, lumaki na yung tiyan. Ano naramdaman mo? Sumasakit. Ang tigas ng tiyan. I called the sister. Sister Nora, please come 
Sister Nora na diagnosed ng breast cancer during pandemic. Lalakad siya pupunta, magbe papunta sa hospital. Nakamas, nakashield, istrikto ang Quezon City. Kitsik siya, maigson siya. Balik lang sa sunod. Balik siya, maigson. Halos kada adlaw siya magbalik-balik. The final diagnosis of the doctor, no more breast cancer. That is what we want to hear in the church. Ang Dios na to wala mausab. Kita ray na usab. Pastor Dan Colos, thank you very much. Ang tut karon ang pabili ng prayer and fasting. Ayaw tanawa ang dakong simbahan. Ayaw tanawa ang dakong panalangin. Tanawa ko doon na may kaom sa Diyos nga nagalihok sa simbahan. This is not our church anyway. This is God's church. So what happened? We prayed for her. And after prayers, She was baptized in the water in Jesus' name. Kinausap ko yung son servant, Sir Belen, kumusta yung pinag-pray kanina? Sabi niya, Pastor, kagabi, linggo ng gabi, wala na yung sakit, nakatulog siya ng mabuti. At sabi nung babae, dalahin ko yung buong pamilya ko. That's the good news. Kagaya nung Samaritan woman, when that Samaritan woman able to talk to the Lord Jesus Christ, she went out all over the city telling about Jesus Christ. The Messiah is here. Sinabihan niya ang kanyang husband at kanyang mga anak sa linggo. Magsimba tayo doon sa pinagsimbahan ko. Buhay ang Diyos nila doon. May milagro doon. Hindi na tayo magsasabi. Sila na ang magsasabi. Just pray and believe God. And then last Sunday, wala ko sa park. Doon ako sa Lapu-Lapu. Nag-preach kay Pastor Dave. Hapon ng service, Pastor Eugene. Tininan ko sa online yung church service. Nandoon yung mister niya. Pagpasok pa lang, Pastor Eugene, sabi nung misis, kinuwinto doon sa amin ni Pastor Misha, sabi niya, Dad, pagpasok nung mister, mula pa lang sa pintuan, iyak na nang iyak. Iyak nang iyak. Nakaupo sa upuan, iyak nang iyak. Nilapitan ng misis niya, niyakap niya, iyak nang iyak. It's not about the pastor. Come on. It's not about the preacher. Come on, who you are in the church is not you doing the work. It's the power of God. Come on, stop thinking that you are the most important person in the church. Here is the Lord. I told the church last Wednesday. Nagturo si Pastor Misha. Sabi ko, Pastor Michelle, can I interrupt? He's my pastor. I said, go ahead, Bishop. I said, you know what happened last Sunday? That woman, that husband, I'm telling you, it's not about Fisher, Pastor Michelle. It's not about the musicians. It's not about the singers. It's all about him. It's all about him. We are all here because of him. I am still preaching because of him. I can still dance and run because of him. I can still walk. I can still preach because of him. Oh, hallelujah. It's all about him. So I asked all the singers, Pastor Rica Plaza, The musicians and the singers and the media people come to the front. And we will anoint you. That starting tonight, it's not about your good voice. It's not about how good you are to play the keyboard. It's about the power of the Lord. In these last days, we need to hang on to the power of God. United Pentecostal Church of the Philippines, it's time to hang on to the Spirit of God. 
Ye shall be my witnesses. Yung matandang lalaki, papasok sa simbahan, naka-walker. Yung dalawang gulong hawak para sa iba yung crutches, yung walker. Dahil yung kanyang likod, yung kanyang spinal, parang nagiging liter C. Si makalakang. Sobra sakit. Pag-upo niya pa Sir Eugene, hindi sa upo, doon sa wheelchair. Pinag-pray ng mga leaders. No, I do not pray. It's the leaders. That's how we teach in the church. It's not about the pastor. It's about the giftings. And we want to go home with the gift of healing and miracles. Para saan pala yung nine gifts? Hindi yan sa mga apostolik. Para yan sa atin. Ang problema, hindi tayo nag-desire. Nag-pray ang mga leaders, inanoint mga kapatid. Pinunasan ng oil. Tapos pinatayo. Dahan-dahan nakatayo. Nakalakad. Nakalakad. That's the same Sunday. He was baptized. Pagbalik pagkalinggo, wala nang walker. Dumatakbo na. Lululundag na. Yung dating hindi makalakad. Ngayon lumulundag na. Come on, hallelujah. Gusto nating maging witness. Dapat doon sa simpan. Meron tayong makikita ng mga milagro. Hindi lang hanggang pandinig. Dahil lang masaksihan natin ang kamay ng ating Panginoon. Raise your hands and shout to the Lord. Come on. Receive the gift of healing. Receive the gift of faith. Receive the gift of miracle. Let the gifts of the Spirit operate in the church. I am inviting every pastor, every evangelist, every licensed minister to come to the front. Bible school student, come to the front. Come on, hallelujah. We need someone. We need God to move in our hearts. We will open this first night of the summit. And we will invite Pastor Dancolos to pray. Pastor Dancolos, please come up in the platform. Sige po, continue coming, continue coming. <laughs> come on, Pastor. Come on, Preacher. Come on, Pastor's kids. Come on, Pastor's wives. Come on, somebody. We want the anointing of God. <laughs> Ye shall be my witnesses. Ye shall be my witnesses. Paano tayo naging saksi na wala na tayo nakikita na mga milagro sa simpan? Hindi milagro yung sasakyan. Hindi milagro yung magandang bahay. Kaya mong gawin yan sa sarili mong sikap sa pera. Pero yung mga taong gagaling sa matinding sakit, yan ang kailangan natin at sila na ang mamamalita. Personally, we want God to move in our churches with signs and wonders. I want our bishop to pray for the gift of healing, miracles, the gifts of the Spirit. Pagkatapos ni Pastor Dancolos mag-pray, isinggit ang panalangin sa imong pagdawat sa grasya sa ginoo. Kananggasa nga dugay na ni mong kipangita. Og samtang wapo si Pastor Dancolos, Tuhi nga doon ay maitabo sa mga simbahan nga itong ipasturan. Pastor Nagkulos, please pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Desire is me to all give. Yes. 
1 Corintios 14, 1. Tengo que andar con guías. Desire is with our gift. Ministers, we are now in the end time. But not to my own Elias, my Balunta and Israel. When I do salagi to do night out in his Philippines. Si Dios yo wala kin busugot nang desire kin siyang magpuno sa kaum sa Dios double portion ingon si Elias pabilin dire ingon si Elias dili ko magpabilin mutabo ko sa supa uban ko nimo asa ka gutom og pagabot mi wa gyud bato si Elias si Elias yo mi tuban gyud kay may tinguha mi kuyo kang Elias pagtabok sa supa ingon si Elias pangayo na Elias yo Si mong gusto. Mga ministro ninyong gabi eh. Kung inyo ninyong tinghaon, this is really my desire. I want to impart the gift God has given to me. I am now old enough. Whether you want it or not, I will depart to this world. But before I depart to this world, you must have this gift. Desire it. On si Elias, kung makita ni mo, tutok sa taas, sinigayab na ko, kung mahulog, aga kung kubo, ang imong gipangayo, kung imposible may tabo. Kung si Elias, huwag yung buwag sa kamot, sa kang Elias, nakita niya, kaya kung si Elias, kung makita ni mong ako sa gaon, sa karuahi, kung sa si Elias, si Elias, huwag yung bubulag, pagdanaw kang Elias, may tutok sa langit, Huwag taon-taon, hallelujah, nahulog ang mantol ni Elias. Hallelujah! Huwag ikaw ni Elisio. Ingon si Elisio, asa ba ng Diyos ni Elias? Huwag ibudal ni Elisio sa tubig. Huwag ang tubig na bahin. Agong pag-ampo, manta ng lugar simbahan, muli sir, ang gasa sa milaglog hiling para sa iglesia. The gift of healing of the God is in the church. If you are the church, then you can have this. In the name of Jesus, receive, 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 yeah. receive, 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 receive. Come on, receive that divine impartation. Shout for the gift. Receive it in the Holy Ghost. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That is divine impartation in the demonstration of the power of God. Come on, in the power of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ya la ba sha ka ya ra ba ya ka ya la ba ha ya. He ko ra ba sha ka ya la ba ha ya. He ye 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 ye. Yes, hallelujah. Now, Karun Maik Shon. Release the divine impartation. Ampu mong katapat karon. Amen. Pwede mo ipatong sa baga, ipatong sa ulo. Pray with your brother. Pray with your sister to sister, brother to brother. Share that impart. Impart that faith. Come on, pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. Release that divine impartation. We need unity. We need one mind. We need one heart. We need one direction. We will win this world through the gospel with unity. Come on. Prophesy to your brother. That's it. Prophesy to your sister. Declare the blessing. Declare the blessing. Release the blessing. 
That's it. Let us move in the spirit. Move in the spirit. Wow, wow. Sige. Amen. You can prophesy. You can speak in tongues. Release that. Release that for your brother. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Release it in the Holy Ghost. Come on, pastor. 